Last year, the UK government responded to the humanitarian crisis created by the closure of the Cali Camp, known as the Jungle, by asking local authorities if they could accommodate any of the unaccompanied minors. I was in Cali. I stayed in Cali for three months. And then after that, no one is looking for us. The place is very dangerous. It's even for a man, it's not a good place. And then after three months, the UK government take a people who is underage, under 18. Refugee camp in Cali uh, closed and there was a, a kind of European-wide uh, request for anybody to help to take some of the refugees. Uh, the UK offered to take a certain amount of refugees. That was accepted. Um, these girls travelled to the UK. They arrived in London. Um, travelled from London to Edinburgh and from Edinburgh to Glasgow. And they arrived here on the 12th of November 2016 um, and were welcomed by staff who had volunteered and been drafted in from residential units in Glasgow to welcome the kids, the unaccompanied minors. The team immediately set about transforming a decommissioned project into a welcoming safe space for young people in record time. So the Hamish Allen Centre originally was a fire station where the centre was actually closed um, and it was going to be emptied completely but then the call went out for volunteers and help for the girls when they came um, so the centre was opened up again. Uh, it took a bit of work by city building and um, just everybody, all the staff, decorating, um, fixing up beds, um, furniture, lighting, um, all the essential stuff for the girls but it was done uh, and it was done in a very short space of time which is a credit to the staff who had put in the work. Um, the girls have settled down very well here, They're very, they feel very at home here uh, and as we try to make it as homely as possible for them. Uh, my name is Hewitt, I'm from Ethiopia, I'm 16 years old. I'm living with my friends uh, we are 19, but we have a different flat. In one flat, we are living for four girls, which is a nice thing because we, we have no one in here, and it's like family. The girls, when they came here, the, the, the one thing i has got to say about them, they're really, really nice people, nice, lovely, lovely people. Um, but they're very, very scared, and really, really, understandably, you know, clung together sort of thing, you know, very, very supportive of each other. And the biggest thing I would say over the time I've been here is the change I've seen them is them starting to feel more safe, starting to feel secure, and being able to become less tense, less, uh, less, less on edge, you know. Uh, the first time when I come, I just, I want to study. I don't know, even I don't know what I will be in future when I grow up because when you start studying you will start thinking what you have to do and what you're excited to be. Education was a big thing for the girls, it was a, a very important part uh, that we were, their education that we were looking for. We were very lucky to be able to contact Notre Dame School who surprisingly for us gave us 19 places. So Notre Dame welcomed 19 girls from Ethiopia and Eritrea who made their journey from there uh, via the Cali camps before arriving in Glasgow. And I was in the very fortunate position that I got to go out to their accommodation and furnish them with their uniforms and uh, ties and pens from our school. When they arrived at the school, we gave them a tour and we focused heavily on English and maths at the start. And then we made them a bespoke timetable that was balanced enough with English and maths, but also sampling lots of other subjects, many subjects that the girls won't have come across before. The school in Notre Dame has been fantastic at that, that point. And the, I believe five days a week they've had all morning doing ESOL classes. 
which has been great. The, the way their English has come on has been so, so impressive and, and they really want to learn. And they've progressed through the school immensely um, with some actually going to college now. I'm uh, going to be attending college after the semester. Um, they're really, they, they, they support the fact for the head teacher uh, and their support worker uh, Monica has been immense and all the teachers at the school, they've been absolutely brilliant. Um, we couldn't have done it without them and the girls have come on leaps and bounds since they started in uh, Notre Dame school. When I study like one month, two months, I become like more interesting to be what I want to be and I found who I am and uh, also I know now what I have to do for future, it makes me like relax my mind. The school, the school is very nice, Notre Dame High School, all the girls, the students, the teacher, and then they help us to learn English. Now also my English is better, I'm in Glasgow just now for seven or eight months. Uh, so, I, I, my English is very better than before. A team of residential workers from Glasgow Children's Residential Services who volunteered were pulled together from all over Glasgow to support the girls. The staff's priority was to make the young people feel safe, supported and integrated into Glasgow life, linking them to the agencies that can assist. The goodwill from agencies working in this field was palpable and staff were quick to coordinate a wide range of supports. Uh, the people who's looking after us, we have every day a different people but coming back again, a social work workers, uh, they are really nice, they are really patient for us because we come a very bad experience. Sometimes we are not feeling good when we think about before. We know that we are in safe place and a good uh, situation, but still we didn't let it go. It was very hard for us. I'm a residential worker, so my role with the girls is, was obviously at the beginning to make them feel safe, secure. Um, our journey has totally changed now. We're now teaching the girls to be independent. Education, English, um, now we're at a partner, we're teaching girls um, how to go and independently shop. When I arrive here, I start being happy, really. Because this is like, for me, it's a gift from God. Because every situation makes me happy when I come here. Everybody's honest, which is I didn't expect. The one I have experienced, I don't have a good experience for people. I was like, really? Is this for me? Even when I go to school, I want to go quickly home because when they treat me, the way they treat me, even when I found something uh, like, sometimes they keep for us to brush, uh, soap, something. When I, f I feel like I want to go and hug him, <laughs> them, really, because I'm, it's not, a, for me, it's a big deal, this for me. It's, um, it's make me happy because that person, when I was in school, they are thinking about me. I want to keep this for Hewitt. That makes me happy. If something happened for me, there is someone to look after me. I think just seeing their wee faces when I first came here and just making them feel loved. I know that the love that I give these girls is nothing to but a real, your real mum and daddy. You can't get that love. But the fact is that five minutes sitting at a table, like I'm there and I'm this key, key mummy as she calls me. And I know that there's a, a, a difficult way I'm, I'm there's ability to take in like the girls. But she'll come up and see you start putting your arm around her and making her feel safe. And me being able to get up in that room in the mornings now and she's in a sound sleep to when I first started here. And you're opening doors and the girls are frightened and shaking. So that's what I know that I've made them feel secure and safe, you know. And for me, that goes a long way. I know that the things can come next. You know, we can learn about money, we can learn things. But you've got to feel safe, you know. And she knows that there's opportunities in this country for her, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, Bye. I start being trust people before I don't trust people. Still, I don't 100%, but they make me more be close with people, be like friendly, 
find me I, I don't know how can I say for you because they make me they change me completely the way they treat me uh, I remember when I was in the school and they know that I'm very interested to learn piano and then when I go home they told me there is something up there I'm like what because sometimes people come to teach us um, like making necklace uh, earrings that's what I expect I'm like when I go there I see the piano I'm like I don't know how to explain it I was very excited I'm like I'm speechless what to say to them because this is a big deal for me I was very excited I'm like really I don't know how can I say it I was very very happy and then but I start learning more piano. They think what I want, they do it if they can. Even if they can't do it, they will explain for me and they know how can I understand them. Not only for me, for all Nightingales, they are very honest. They are trying all their best. That's what I'm thinking. Even when we go to school and come back, they are like waiting for us like their children. Like, hi, you, you know what I mean? The way you wait your children, yeah. that's how they show us. We were like, I think, I'm sure other my friends feel the same like me. Yeah, like you are car, the staff, social work, everyone is good for with us. They want to help us what we want. Uh, if we want to, everything they will make for us. And then I have key worker. My key worker is Nicole. She's like, like my sister. She's very nice with me. Are you happy? Yes, I am. Uh, why are you happy? Because uh, I'm here. I'm here in safe place, and I'm doing my education. That makes me happy, and everything. Even I don't have a word to explain how I feel because I am here. You would never, ex you would never um, can apprehend that you'd be able to do something like that. Mm -hmm. like, within a space of six months, these girls who at one point didn't know if they were going to be getting back to where they came from, you know, Eritrea or Ethiopia or whatever, are wandering the streets in Paris to have in their own room at school, go to college, possibly working, once they get their uh, their card for for because uh, for remaining in the country, they've got that now. That's in a, in a, a short time. I mean, some days if you were to say it, just oh, well, it could take a couple of years and stuff like that. But it's no, it's been done in a short time because everybody worked together and worked hard together, and it was all about communication and everybody working with each other. And now we've got a group of girls, nineteen girls, who are all confident. Okay, the day still miss family and stuff like that. There's, there's no much we can help there, but we do support them. We'll get 100% support to them, but they're absolutely flying just now. They're, they're, they're in their own element just now, and fingers crossed, uh, they should have a good life.